Yanker hold is a strange word that I borrowed from medieval uh, Western religious tradition in which people who were very devoted to Christianity would uh, have them. So they were, these people were called anchorites or anchoritesses. I think anchor, anchor, I think that's how you call the female ones, anchoritesses. And men were anchorites. And they, these were people who decided to devote their life to prayer, but they weren't, they were lay people. They weren't members of the clergy. And they did a very particular thing. They would have themselves walled off into a little room or, or whole cubby uh, connected to the main body of the church. And then there would be a small hole between the church and their little hole cubby there, this place that they lived, a little cell is the right word there, Anchor hold is the even better word, where they through which they could, they could peek. That was called a, a squint. And they could look through the squint and watch the service. Food would be and water would be passed through and waste would be passed out. So usually the opportunity to be an anchorite was, and I'll just call them anchorites, gen, general, male and female. Now maybe that's the right way to describe it all together. This was usually reserved for the wealthy because you typically needed to hire somebody, a servant of some sort, to come and attend to your needs. And you would then spend your life walled into the side of the church, uh, looking through your squint, spending your day praying in your little cell, in your little anchor hold. It reminds me of anglerfish, you know, those big fish down deep in the sea. Well, they're big in terms of their bodies seem to be like about that, that big. The females are these big bulky things. They've got the little light dangling off the front that they usually capture the fish. The females are big. The males are these tiny little things that catch onto the side of the angler fish, the female angler fish, and then they, 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 they kind of fuse into the fish. The male becomes like an appendage sticking out the side, and they spend his life attached to the big female. That's how these anchorites are in their little anchor holds, uh, uh, living their life in devotion. What does that have to do with the good life creed? Well, that term, anchor hold, fit perfect for my imagining of the, my consciousness, which seems to be, senses and feels like it's trapped right here between my cranium, right be, behind my forehead, between my, uh, my, right about here. It's, you can feel it too, right? It's right up there. Your consciousness doesn't feel like it's in your left shoulder. It feels like it's up here. <laughs> I think that's part and parcel to the fact that all of our senses are there. That is my conceptualization of my consciousness, which would be the anchorite, or another ter term that I used, that I talked about yesterday, is the, the homunculus, the little man within. Although maybe anchorite would have been a better choice, but it's too late now. The homunculus, the little man within, although that is the perfect word, trapped within the anchor hold of my skull. And my idea is that that when this body of mine finally passes, the anchor, the homunculus trapped within, trapped within the anchor hold, peeking through the squint of my eyes, listening through my ears, touching the world through my senses, is going to pass with me. No carrying on after life is over. There's nothing I don't believe. There's anything within me. There's no reason to believe no empirical reason to believe, no good reason to believe that there's such a thing as a soul and that anything will, of me will, that other than the information, some of the information in my, that, in my, that is contained within me will remain until that all degrades away as well. If I'm burned up in, in a um, cremation and that all gets turned into energy and energy and heat and ash, if I degrade away into the earth, in a in a in a grave, then it gets recycled back into the into the system. But in any case, the anchor hold is the anchor the anchorite the homunculus trapped within the anchor hold is finished. So I use that concept of the anchor hold to remind myself that I'm trapped, that I'm not getting out of this alive, and that if I'm going to live a good life and I'm going to live a good life well. I'd better begin doing that good life now, beginning right now at 5.13 a.m. on December 31st, 2023.
Thus is the anchor.